This is the Mystery Ranch Metcalf. The Metcalf is the do everything bag in the Mystery Ranch lineup. And when I say that, I mean if somebody comes to you and says, if you're the type of person who's looking for a bag, you want something for a day pack, something for a tree stand pack, something that you can take a couple of days into the backcountry with, and you're not overly caring about too much internal storage compartments, this is the bag for you. This bag is basically one cavernous bag that doesn't have any zippered pockets on the inside that will break things apart, section things away for uh, storage. It's just one big bag. The Mystery Ranch Metcalf is 5.7 pounds. It is a 71 liter bag, which is equal to 4,335 cubic inches. It's built on the Guide Light MT frame. MT standing for Mystery Tech, which is again Mystery Ranch's design and construction around a carbon fiber frame that is used in all of their hunting bags. It has a five piece waist belt. It's got a yoke system that you can adjust up and down. And one of my favorite parts about Mystery Ranch bags that this one has included is a removable lid. What makes this lid so cool is it's divided up into two large compartments. So if you need quick access to something like say a headlamp, maybe you're hauling camera gear, you've got another lens or Maybe you need a knife or water filtration. So it comes with these two extra compression straps because as you make this bag bigger, uh, you can cinch it down, but we'll go through that. So again, the lid has these two large bags. If you have this fully extended out, you could use this as a rifle rest. You can take the lid completely off or just take it down like we do here. Take off these two top straps and that will be your opening to your bag. And again, it's cinched down. It's a top opening bag, one big cavern. Now, you can also make this larger by extending it up like this, like so then your lid will still be able to reach when extended out and come over the top. No pockets. No pockets, no pockets, no pockets. It's just a bag. Just a big stuff sack to put all your stuff in. Again, cinches down with this board here. There's compression straps along the front for bow or rifle carry. You can also use the side pockets as it has two flexible side pockets for things like water bottle, something big, tripod, you name it. Look at that, it holds it nice and snug. You don't have any worry that that's going to fall out. It has one side zipper if you undo the side compression straps, and this strap goes right through the pocket. You undo the zipper, and this is your only access to the inside of the bag, aside from the top. So you want to reach and grab something, this can really come in handy. And the only thing I can think of that this may not come in handy is if this is full to the max and you want to reach around to get to the other side, you might have a harder time. It might be easier just to go in through the top. It does have these loop tabs here, which you can attach an extra accessory pouch 
that you can flip out and put other things that quick, easy access to. These zippers are really strong, really nice. There's no worry that they're going to get, the teeth are going to get stuck or broken or trip up on themselves. It's made of 330D light Fedora fabric, which is again very strong but also light. Uh, there is a water bladder pocket, I should say, on the inside. Which will then come out to go either left or right, out and down the strap. And then on the strap itself has these great little flexible tabs here to put your water bladder hose. So the hose isn't flapping around, going behind you, you can't find it. Or it's waving around, showing all the animals where you are. So it's got this cinch strap here. And then it's got another cinch strap here. So you can really cinch this down nice and tight. And then throw your lid back up over the top. Going down to the bottom, it's got some molly at the bottom for you to attach things should you choose. And it's got lots of buckles and straps to be flexible with. Again, two flexible pockets on the side for again water bottle or uh, tripod, maybe a spotting scope. I don't know if you'd want to put that on the outside or not. It's totally up to you. Again, this is flexible. These straps come in, um, the frame size comes in small, medium, large, and extra large. And then once you've chosen that, you can then micro adjust again. There's a plastic piece that slides in here breaks the velcro and you can adjust this piece up and down it's even got hash marks here to show you the different sizes so you know where you are in the list here for your comfort level so to access that you need to get in between the bag and the yoke or the frame and the yoke here and there is a pull tab this tab here you pull this up unleashes the velcro you get the tabs over the corners and you can pull out this plastic rigid piece here which you will then use this tool to break here get in and adjust break your velcro down the bottom here and then adjust should you see fit and then when you're done this just goes back in through the top and then you wrap corners around, make sure it's good and snug in there, velcro it down, and now you're good to go. Five piece waist belt, got a good lumbar pad here, and then one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Nice, good, solid, thick padding. There's molly attachments here on the side of the belt for accessories. Mystery Ranch sells a number of accessories like a water bottle, pouch. For a water bottle pocket, uh, bear spray, all different kinds of things you can attach to the side of these bags. This is a very simple layout. This is not overly complicated. There's not a lot of hidden things here and there. It's your bag. That's what you do. It's here to haul things. That's what it does. You want to put a bow or a rifle on the bag. I'm going to show you how to do that now. You simply undo the comp compression straps. bag down flat, put it on top of the bag, it has these velcro tabs here which will fall out, 
they just hold the slack of your straps which is great but they do come out so you don't want to lose these because your straps are going to start flapping around you got to keep these in place so it would be nice to see in the future that these are fixed and just sewn in here that would take nothing at all to do um, so just make sure you've clasped it over these have auto locking buckles in certain spots like this for this reason so that you can make sure that you can cinch things down and keep it nice and tight just feed it on through try to find a nice beefy spot where you're not going to be running over super important things that might rip or stretch or break on your bow tie it in cinch it down bows on your bag and you're good to go so to access the meat shelf you have to basically separate the bag from the frame all you have to do is just undo the buckles and on the sides like so and then the bag basically the corners of the top of the bag wrap around the top of the frame and if you look down in between here just loosen your load lifters a bit you'll see a, another strap on the inside here you just unlock that one and now you can take the tabs that wrap around the frame that are part of the bag you can pull those off again this is a carbon fiber frame Pull that up and off. It's a very snug fit for good reason. And now you're opened up the bag. Boom. And then what you can do is you can tighten or loosen these straps here, which will give you room to adjust the shelf depending on how much you need. Slides down. Just make sure it's same size on both and then you put your heavy item whether it be a deboned bag of meat or a bone-in bag of meat on here and then game bag put the bag back on hook it onto the frame do up all the straps keep the weight high on your back you don't want it slumping down and becoming a lump on the bottom that's just going to put more weight on your lower back that you're not going to want you want it to be sitting up high mystery ranch does sell a set of game bags that have tabs on the exterior of the bags that will hook onto the frame, which is a fantastic idea. That in turn will keep the weight of the bag up high as opposed to it slumping down from the weight of the meat. You can also use this for hauling just heavy items in and out. You keep all your stuff in your bag and you can just put whether it's a tree stand or whatever you're bringing into camp that you might need that's heavy. So then just to put it back together, you get the tabs here. They just stick right underneath here. Make sure they're good and snug because it is a snug fit. And then reach around through, do up that buckle that you just undid to separate the bag from the frame. There's also clips at the bottom, make sure you don't miss any. Go in the same order that you're taking them off as you put them back on, that way you know you're not going to miss anything. So now you just do your side straps, working your way back up the bag. Load lifters. back together again like you were when you started. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take, I've got a number of items on the table here. Uh, this is not everything that I'm taking obviously, but there is a number of things that I will be taking with me when I go hunting. And I'm going to put those in the bag to show you how big and extended this bag can get. 
So we got a number of items on the table here that I'm going to put inside the bag. This is not everything that I'm going to be hunting with, but it will be a number of things I will be taking with me um, to show you how big this bag can extend to its full 4,335 cubic inches. So they give you a couple more compression straps for when you get the bag taller, you can cinch around and hook these together. Water filtration, steri pen, a couple of headlamps, two is one and one is none. Battery charger for DSLR camera. And we'll throw one more thing in here. Leatherman multi-tool. That's the first pocket of the lid. Second pocket, I'll put my two power banks, keeping things nice and charged. I've got a knife and a sharpener. I've got a saw. An extra lens for the camera. That might not fit in there. It's got too much junk in it. Throw this in here. Like that. And again, you can pick and choose how you're going to do this. I'm just doing this on the fly to give you an idea. So then you disconnect the top part of the lid. And he's here to get to the bag. And like I said, this is just one big open cavernous bag. You can't get in unless you're going in through the side. Um, there's no other way to, there's no separation in here for organization. It's just one big bag. So just make sure both tabs are opened up so it's nice and big. We're gonna start off with the water bladder. So this will go right into the pouch here. And then you can choose whether you're going to go right or left out of the front here, depending on what um, shoulder strap you want to attach your hose to. I generally like the left side, so I'm going to do that. So on the left side here, there's this flexible piece of material, which is designed to hold your tab in place. Pretty awesome design. Next, we're going to think about if I need to access things, I'm going to want the stuff that I don't necessarily need right away at the bottom. Let's start off with the sleeping bag. It's not rolled up, it's just loose. Gonna take up, just stuff it in there, get it inside. Doesn't need to be perfectly rolled up because this will fill the voids in the bag. You just stuff it as much as you can down into the bottom corners. If you had it rolled up, it wouldn't necessarily take up that space. Once you've got that in there, you do the blow up. Sleeping pad, BioLite stove, extra layers, and like I said, this isn't everything, but it's a number of things. Outdoor Research 4A2 rain jacket. Okay, we're starting to fill this up. Didn't bring out any of this stuff, so I'll just keep it at that, cinch it down. Board inside. You can also cinch it here. Got two points of cinching, which is cool. And then this just comes. Well, we'll do this first. Compression straps. Give your side buckles a bit of a breather. Okay. Then you bring your lid up and over. It comes up and over into the cinch them down. There 
There you go. Now we're good and slick. Put the bag on. Go up your top cross strap. Now this is a waist belt, but it's meant for your hips. It's not supposed to sit where you wear your pants necessarily, but it is supposed to sit and take some of the weight off of your shoulders and your back. There we go. So there's not a lot of weight in here right now. There is a bit of a gap as you can see with the shoulder straps. As you put more weight in it, it will settle and seat properly on your shoulders which is what you want. You don't want to have heavy weight in here and have a decent gap in between here because that will not be good for you. You have to wear it properly. There you go. That is the Mystery Ranch Metcalf. We broke it down. We looked at it close, we studied it. It's a pretty awesome bag. It can do a lot of things for a lot of people. It does not have a lot of storage compartments, so as long as you're okay with having a big cavernous bag to shove all your stuff in, then this is definitely a bag for you to consider. These bags have been around for years. People have used these over and over and over again, hunt after hunt, whether it's a day hunt or a multi-day hunt with zero issues. The only other thing would be if you wanted to go longer and you needed a little bit more room, you might have to go up to the Beartooth 80 or even higher the Marshall. Um, but this is definitely a contender. Check this out wherever your Mystery Ranch bags are sold. In Canada, these are about $669 Canadian. And again, you can get them through Mystery Ranch uh, website or you can find them on a Canadian um, distributor's website. I will be giving a full review of this bag when I get back from my BC elk hunt. My son will be wearing this particular pack uh, during our time there. So I will get him to chime in on what he liked and what he didn't like about this bag. And uh, we'll give a full review upon our return. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for more videos like this. And we'll see you on the next one.